I hope that this will help in that you will be able to pause um, the video and do the work along with me on a piece of scratch paper at home. This particular problem is actually on page 7 of your workbook. It's in the cream colored box at the top of page 7. As you can see here, in this example, we have our dividend, which is inside this little box here. Our, uh, on the outside, this is the number that it's being divided by. This is called the divisor. What we're going to do is we're going to work this problem together step by step. Division is a funny thing in that it takes trial and error. So let's get to our problem. We have 352,784 divided by 437. We're trying to find the quotient. We're trying to find the answer. 437,000 will go into 3? No. Will 437 go into 35? No. Will 437 go into 352? No. It's still too big, isn't it? Will 437 go into 3,527? Yes, it will. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to determine how many times will 437 go into 3,527. This is where trial and error comes in. One thing I like to do to help me in division is I like to round off my numbers in order to kind of come up with an idea of how many times this number, 437, will go into 3,527, because that's what we determined where we need to go. And this is where we're going to determine how many times it will go in. When I speak of rounding off my numbers, what I'd like to do is, for me personally, I would like to probably round off this number, 437, down to, let's say, 400. Three thousand five hundred twenty-seven. Maybe I could round that to thirty-five hundred. How many times will four hundred go into thirty-five hundred? Well, there's another shortcut. Let's get rid of these zeros. There's two zeros here at the end, and there's two zeros here at the end. Let's get them away. Now, how many times will four go into thirty-five? If we know our multiplication tables, well, then we know that 4 times 7 is 28, and 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 9 is 36. Well, we know that 36 is too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with number 8. 8 times 4 is 32. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 437 times 8. See, we, we determined that 8 was how many times 4 would go into 35. 437 times 8. What, this is where you need to know your multiplication tables again, isn't it? What is 7 times 8? 56. What is 3 times 8? Oh, well, we carried our 5. What is 3 times 8? 24. 
plus 5, 29. Carry our 2, 4 times 8. We have to know our multiplication. 4 times 8 is what? 32. 32 plus 2 is 34. So now we have a number of 3,496. That's really close to this number up here. You see how it's not higher than, and we know that if we add another 437 to that, that it would have been too high. So we know that what goes in this block is 8. And we know that 8 times 437 is 3,496. We have to subtract that from 3,527. Does that make sense? Let's do our subtraction. 7 minus 6 is 1. 2 minus 9, can't do that. We're going to have to borrow 1 from this 5. So now we have 12 minus 9 equals 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. We can actually get rid of those zeros, so we will. And we have our answer, 31. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to drop this number 8 down from the dividend. We're going to bring that 8 right here. Now we have 318. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to see how many times will 437 go into 318? Hmm. Well, we see that we can't even get one time into 318. So our answer up here in the next block is zero. See that? We're going to drop another number down from our dividend. Now we have 3,184. Will 437 go into 3,184? Yes. So now we're going to have to do trial and error again. We already know that 8 times 437 was 3,496. That's going to be too high to subtract, isn't it? So, let's try to go down one. Let's, in our trial and error process, multiply 437 times 7 this time. What's 7 times 7? 49. Carry our 4. What's 3 times 7? 21. Plus 4? 25. Carry our 2. What's 4 times 7? 28 plus 2. 30. Is 3,059 less than 3,184? Yes. I think we found the right answer. So, we're, we've determined that 7 is our next number. 7 times 437 equals 3,059. Subtract. We're going to have to borrow from our 8. This becomes a 7. So now we have 14 minus 9 equals 5. 7 minus 5 equals 2. 1 
minus 0 equals 1. Correct. And we know that this is 0. So we know that we have a remainder of 125. Now this was kind of slow because it was a video, but I hope that in your own home that you've taken the time just to listen and follow along and pause and back up and do trial and error on your own. What you'll learn is pattern is everything. You need to keep your numbers in line. You need to know um, your multiplication tables. You need to know when to drop down from your dividend. And in order to get the right quotient, just do everything step by step. And all these little small steps give you the right answer to what seems to be a big problem. So we know that our answer is 807 with a remainder of 125.